What inspires me to make music is, I guess I'm just inspired to tell stories and you, you gotta make sure the listener is listening to you. And so if you put it in the form of a song, oftentimes if the, you know, if the song is striking enough, then you can really deliver the story you know, most effectively while keeping the ear of the listener the whole time. So, you know, I guess it all starts with the stories for me. I do feel more like a visual artist when your storytelling is, you know, your, your own experiences and memories and, you know, personal wisdom and knowledge. So a lot of that, when I pull from that place, it comes along with pictures you know, and when I'm tr when I'm trying to make a song, even the form of it, even the part that doesn't have words, the parts that don't have words, it's still, you know, really trying to make a photograph out of something that you can never see, you know, like materials that aren't visible, but still trying to make a photograph, you know. And you should hear. Has Odd Future impacted my career? Um. Absolutely, absolutely. They've um, liberated my thinking in, in some ways, creative, creatively and in a sense of knowing that you can do a lot of it by yourself, you know? Um, not just the songs, but just taking control of your whole movement. I think we all change each other's paths, you know? Um, I don't know which, which, which law or, idea that is in physics, but I don't think, I don't think any of us can live without affecting one another, you know? Um, not to be broad, but it's true. I think, I think I've been affected. My path has been changed and affected by everybody who I've encountered in my life. But I, have I don't know how far my music has taken me socially. Geographically, it's, it's only taken me to London. I had to cancel my Paris and Amsterdam shows because I got sick. I like London a lot. I like the London crowd a lot. It was probably like three inches between me and the first person in the crowd. Sometimes less, you know, <laughs> so it was cool. There's a difference in every crowd that I've played so far. Um, they're like, it's hard to put a finger on what it is exactly, but they just differ like in different cities. When I played New Orleans, the crowd knew every song to Nostalgia Ultra. That was trippy. Nostalgia Ultra. Making that was, was a, a labor of love. It was like difficult, you know, to make not like writing the songs or arranging the songs. I mean, that had a level of difficulty too, but just piecing together all the resources to do it, you know, at the level that I wanted to, like the quality of record I wanted to make and not, you know, not really know how to make beats and not really know how to engineer like that. And um, really only being a singer songwriter at the end of the day, you know, it was, it was difficult. That had a level of difficulty, but it was, it was a, a process that I appreciated, you know, so much, you know, and appreciate so much in retrospect. The video director I work with a lot, Nabil Elderkin, um, the homie, he's passionate, he's, you know, convicted, and we kind of, we can bump heads occasionally, but because I'm the same way, you know, um, but it's talented, you know, and when, when we kind of get in, you know, a flow of working, you know, we both get what we want. The video concept was, uh, I guess inspired by, like, Japanese cartoons and, um, a little bit of, like, Afro Samurai, too. And uh, it was also a, a, a great excuse to blow up a car and go to Big Sur and, you know, hang out hillside and just be beautiful, be art, 
like you know just a, this just more so than a narrative like just shoot something that was beautiful that just looked looked the part Nova Kane was yeah that's different Nova Kane uh, as opposed to Swim Good had more of a it was like clear what I was trying to do. I was just trying to connect or articulate visually the feeling of being numb. Like the feeling of somebody trying to love you but you can't feel it. Like the feeling of, the feeling of um, wanting to feel something that you can't feel. And so it's numb, it's numbing. And a lot of things can cause that numbing. In the video though, it was like some sort of topical anesthetic and a little bit of special effects and there you have it most people have a hard time predicting where i might be or what i might be doing if i'm not in the studio like i could be i could be doing you know uh monkey form by the beach i could be doing indoor rock climbing. I could be reading um, Wikipedia pages on random information. I could be, I could be doing anything. There's a, there's a number of things. It's pretty rad to hear Beyonce sing a song of yours or to hear um, Jigga or Ye like rhyme over and be on a song that you're on. These are, you know, some of the heroes of my generation, you know. So working with them and even being called out, like, you know, to be on those projects, like, it wasn't my doing. It wasn't like I was shopping a song for these projects. It was like they called me to come to the studio. And that's, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty rad. Said I miss you. On this record, this, this latest body of work I've, I've been doing, I think it uh, it succinctly defines me as an artist for, you know, where I am right now, you know? And that was the aim, just to make something that just represents where you are at that time, you know, in that space and time, and it does that. It's about the stories, like I said. So if I write 14 stories, that I love, then the next step is to get the environment of music around it to best, like, I guess, envelop the story, you know, uh, in like all kinds of sonic goodness. Sonic goodies, yo. Sonic good goodies. Goodies, that's a weird word, goodies. 2012 and beyond, uh, I mean, I don't know. I've been feeling really mortal lately. You know, I've been feeling feeling really mortal lately. And if I could do anything, you know, from, from today, not even looking at it in years, but today on, it's just really about trying to do whatever it is I do at a level of excellence. And that's, that's really all I'm trying to do while I'm here. Is it really wrong that I want? You gotta put, it's freezing in here, cause it's cold. So that just gives you context for how I'm shivering through my answers. Yeah, I should slow-mo that and put that on a Discovery Channel.